Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the MBU Podcast, the official podcast for the Marvel Brick Film Universe. I am one of your hosts, Alex, or Lego Clone Addicts, and I'm joined today by my fellow Regenerate and Degenerates, Jeremy from Jovor1777. Hey. All right. Darren, DT98 Films. Hello. And today we got a little special guest, kind of. Um, and that's and that's uh, Josh from A Few Good Films. Say hi, Josh. Hello. So, Hello. so Josh here has uh, has been in the MBU for a few months now, and we're gonna do a little do a little interview with him. Um, but uh, today on uh, the podcast agenda, I suppose we should go over that, right? Uh, we have a lot of stuff uh, because our last episode was like in October. So we're gonna be going over the uh, the video the MBU videos that have come out since then. We're gonna be talking about a bunch of media stuff, the Batman v Superman trailer, Civil War trailer. Jessica Jones, uh, so we're going to be looking at some projects that other people have, or uh, the, uh, that's, the people in this call are, been, are doing, and all that jazz. Oh, and we also have a Q&A section that we're going to be doing, so that's, that's fun. Anyway, so we're getting on with the interview now, I suppose. Uh, the first thing is, uh, when did you join the MBU, just to give the people a time frame, Josh? Uh, I joined back in June of 2015. So I remember I emailed uh, uh, Jack um, and asked about uh, joining back before um, it was invitation only. Um, and luckily, you were all gracious enough to give me a chance. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. You're an awesome animator. So, yeah, thank you. Oh, isn't, that, isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. So which of your films do you think was uh, the most funny to make? Or, or rather, which film have you had the most fun making? Et cetera. Um, that's... Kind of a tricky question. Um, a lot. Each film has its own parts that are um, a lot of fun. I will say probably the most fun was Deadpool, um, An Unexpected Journey. Um, it was the first time actually animating Deadpool and bringing him to life. Um, and so getting to play with him and uh, was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a, that was one of your that was one of your longer films too, wasn't it? Like yeah, uh, it's like fifteen minutes long. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, speaking of your videos, uh, what are your what are some of your upcoming films? You don't go have to you don't have to go too in depth in it because we're going to be talking about our current projects. But what do you have on the roster? Yep, um, I'm working on a set of um, a bunch of short films uh, so that I'll have some content to produce and uh, put out while I'm working on the larger videos like Loki's Revenge Part Three, um, the Eternal Winter series, which we're going to talk about um, later on. And other movies during of the Loki's Revenge series. Awesome. So, uh, when when did you start brick filming? Because you've been you've been doing it for a while now. Yeah, um, I actually start. I started stop motion in summer of two thousand and nine. Um, I started with like Transformers and action figures. Um, I actually didn't start brick filming until until like two thousand and ten. Um, I don't know if you all remember Harry Sandals animation. Um, he actually oh, kind of. Him. Hmm? I know him. Yeah. Um, so he actually um, gave me the idea that, you know, maybe start experimenting with Legos. Um, you know, that it's, you know, you don't have to have them stand up. It, they're easier to stand up, easier to move. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with them. And there's a lot of fun characters and stories to tell. Um, so I started doing that back in 2010. And then in 2011, um, we started a few good films. Awesome. So, uh, who who else is in a few good films? Um, it's my uh, brother. You said we. Yeah, yeah. Yep, uh, uh, my brother I and I. He he's written a bunch of the scripts um, for our movies, and he's uh, one of our main voice actors. Um, and so uh, he and I started the channel a while back. I do all the um, animating and editing. Um, he does a lot of script writing. He's an amazing writer um, and a great voice actor. Um, and so we've teamed up to you know make some videos. <laughs> What was one of your favorite shots you've animated? Like that one shot that you're like, oh, this is so good. Yep. Um, I'm really happy um, with the actually the video I uploaded last night, the Green Arrow, um, what's next. I really liked how the zoom shot turned out at the end. Um, but I have to say probably my favorite shot is from Loki's Revenge Part 1 where the Star Destroyer starts falling and everybody on the bridge gets lifted into the air. Oh, yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun to shoot. Um, it looked great. I was really happy with how it turned out. 
Um, I didn't have to do a single special effect editing in like Photoshop, no post work. It was great. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Well, that's our, that's a, that, that concludes our, our brief interview with Josh from a few good films here. And uh, we'll be uh, moving on uh, the show with two previews for the next, uh, for some upcoming MBU videos. The first one we have is Immortal Iron Fist Episode 2 in Safe Hands, created by our very own Jeremy here. Joe Boy, would you like to talk about that for a moment? Uh, sure. So I guess I'll just talk about what's going to happen in the episode a little bit. So Episode 2 takes place right smack dab after the first episode took place because it was a pretty big cliffhanger. So I'm not going to spoil what happens there, but I'm going to tell you it's basically just continues the story of Episode 1 where... Iron Fist is shopping the hand from getting into Kunlun, stealing the medallion, and all that stuff. Um, I really don't feel like explaining all that, but so just if you want to know and you haven't and you don't know already, just go watch episode one. Um, so it basically has a bunch of flashbacks in it that like intertwine with the episode and like deepen its story. Kind of like they did that in Daredevil and Jessica Jones a lot, so it's kind of like that. Those episodes. And I'm actually yeah. making I'm make, I'm making a little tie into that episode too. And uh, speaking of episode two, here's a little sneak peek of that. And next up for the previews, we have Eternal Winter, made by a few good films, we thought, because he's being a guest today. Would you like to talk about that, uh, Eternal Winter, a little bit, Josh? Sure. Um, Eternal Winter um, takes place, um, if you've seen, um, what is it, the S.H.I.E.L.D. Declassified File number three, Danger in Norway, um, the casket, it, it follows that story. And you actually put a, a cliffhanger to that at the end of Helen Commando's episode one. Um, so it follows that story. Um, Hydra basically gains control of this ancient artifact from the Frost Giants called the Casket of Ancient Winters. And they're planning to unleash it upon the world, sending the world into a deep freeze that will last a thousand years. Um, so, and basically it's up to uh, the Avengers to stop them. Awesome. And I know we're uh, we're planning a little bit of to do a little bit of crossover between, uh, or a little bit more crossover, I should say rather, of uh, Howling Commandos and Eternal Winter, so that should be fun. And here's a little preview of that that Mr. Mr. Josh has assembled for us. Excellent. I, I, didn't, I haven't seen it yet, but I should probably keep downloading it from <laughs> Skype. Anywho, <laughs> uh, next we're on to our next topic, which is comic talk. And this is where we talk about some, maybe some comics that we've seen over the past month and a half, I think, since the last episode, or read, rather. Um, and we'll just, we'll just discuss that. So does anyone want to anyone start out here? Because I haven't, I haven't been reading was... a whole lot. Because money. You might know if you have. Wow, that was loud. Okay. So, if you've known, if you've seen last episode, you know that I don't read much Marvel. So, I started reading some of the new number ones that come out, and two have grabbed my attention, and I really like them. So, I have started reading Marvel. They're, the ones I like are Invincible Iron Man and Doctor Strange. I don't think I'll be t picking up any more just because of money issues, but I don't have money to buy like 50 comic books every week, month, or whatever. The other ones I've found are Star Wars comic book. It is super amazing, and you all should read it if you're a Star Wars fan. It's basically what, just watching a new Star Wars movie in a comic book. It's perfect. So, okay, so Batman Robin Eternal. I was really excited about it, as I stated last episode, and so I started to get it. First few issues I really, really like. Kept getting it going, and then around issue 5, it just dropped, and nothing is happening. 
it just seems like it's super repetitive and boring and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop it. Aww. I love you Scott Snyder, but this is not your best work. For me, I don't think I've actually read anything in the past month and a half. I gotta finish up Watchmen. Cause I have the, I have the big like omnibus kind of thing where it's all the comics in uh in just one one issue. And I have this uh the comic shop near me. I haven't been able to pick it up yet, but they they uh they hold Batman and Batgirl for me, so I gotta catch up on that. I have a lot of stuff to do for for comics, <laughs> even though I could just read them online, but I don't feel like it. Darren, have you I've been reading re anything? I've been reading Spider Gwen. Not so much it really. Um, that's that's really, it. Really good. Three bits, fantastic. Excellent. And uh, Josh, do you read any comics? I do. Um, I haven't really been able to do a lot recently because the nearest comic book shop where I'm at now is about 45 minutes away, um, <laughs> which is very sad. And also, you know, lack of money, if there's that. But um, basically, I've started, I was having trouble getting into Marvel's comics for a while because I had no idea where to start. Um, however, I found a couple of those True Believers uh, reprints a while back. Um, I found Silk. Silk number one, Spider Woman number one, where she got the new costume, and then um, Captain Marvel number one. And I have to say, all three of those were really fantastic. Um, I've been slowly trying to assemble that seven issue run of the uh, Silk standalone series. Um, I'm missing two, three, and six. Um, and I really hope to find, once I have more access to a comic book shop and a little more funds, um, I'm going to uh, continue the Captain Marvel and uh, Spider-Woman story arc. Um, I really enjoyed those. Um, and then for DC, um, I really enjoyed their uh, Starfire series. Um, it's a great reminder of the um, old Teen Titans show. Um, there are differences, obviously, but she's still kind of the same character, um, but basically not a you know, child's cartoon anymore. Um, and then, uh, the Wonder Woman series I enjoyed for a really long time. Slowly, it's kind of, um, I've started getting kind of bored with it. Um, they don't really go very far in each issue. Um, I'll probably start trying to stick it out and buy them in bulk from now on, um, if I'm going to. Um, because there's really just not a lot, um, in each, um, each issue there's not a, a story that you can actually hold and enjoy in each issue it's always obviously there's always cliffhangers but um normally it's you can find something where you're satisfied with the story before the cliffhanger Ooh. superman american alien pick it up it's awesome is that just a is that just a one shot or what is the deal with that what is it it's a seven issue miniseries we're going to be moving on to days of project past where we go over a few a uh, few of the uh, pa past MBU films that we feel like should get a little, get a little spotlight. Uh, and the first one up, we have Doctor Strange. And that is by, that's by Jack, right? That's the, yeah, it's uh, Jack. So if memory serves, uh, this Doctor Strange video that Jack made was a while ago. Uh, oh. And it, it follows, it follows uh, Doctor Strange's kind of, his, his origin almost. Yeah. Actually, yeah, his origin. He's a he's a surgeon, and it explores all that. It's awesome. It's like uh, three minutes. You guys should go check it out. Would you like some tea, sir? Coffee, whiskey, or is it too early? Later, what? First, I have work to do. And uh, next up, we have Scarlet Spider by Darren here. Oh. Would, you would you like, like to, to talk, talk about, about that? <laughs> um, we should, well, we should make a t-shirt called, Would You Like to Talk About That? <laughs> That's so well, much. originally it was meant to be a full episode, but um, as always, I stopped working on that. And, <laughs> and I just realized, like, well, and actually it was Aaron said that um, I could get away with uploading it on its own, so I decided to upload it on its own. So, are you working on wow. something called like the Scarlet Spiders? I am. 
Cool. Which is gonna Ooh. be an alternate universe. So now we're gonna move on to new spotlights, and these are these are the videos that have come out since the last episode, essentially. Um, and first up, we have Lego Ultron Unlimited City of Immortals by Mr. Jeremy Jobor seventy seven. Hey. So, Jeremy, would you like to go over Ultron Unlimited? Just kind of what the uh, what the process was of of filming and your trials and tribulations you've had with it. Ah, I see. All right. <laughs> so it had, I, while filming it, I had the, I don't want to work on this anymore, and I'm super tired of this syndrome. So basically, I had been working on it for ages and just stopped. Like, I stopped animating and editing for like a month. Like, it made me stop. <laughs> that's, how, that's how awful it was to animate, just because it's so action-packed. It just had so many complex stuff and masking. <laughs> Ultron Unlimited is about, is about if, in case you didn't watch the intro of the video or haven't seen it at all. It's basically... So, Ultron wants to cut off the city of Kunlun from Earth. It's in an alternate dimension, if you didn't know. And basically, so the people of Kunlun know Iron, like Iron Fist and Matt Lekong and Jin, and all those characters you love from Iron Fist. The series can't come help him fight against the Avengers in the Ultron Paradigm storyline. So basically, it's about Lei Kung trying to fight off Ultron from the city of Kunlun to destroy the portal generator. It's really good. The animation is awesome, especially that one oh, yeah, shot it's fantastic. where he throws the, where he throws the uh, what, what is it called? Is it a sigh? Is that what the the, the, knife. the thing that Mike the thing that Raphael uses? Yeah. 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 Where, where, that was uh, Darren's that was, idea. That was, that was, that shot. Thank oh, you. Oh, really? Okay. No problem. Yeah. Well, Darren you're quite that. the visionary. Quite the visionary, Darren. Well, I did the spinning, exactly. but he was like, "No, he should stab someone, then throw the knife to another guy, and then have that guy stab someone." We may never be able to reach the Earth again. Get off of me! Get off of me! <laughs> you have lost. So much for mortality. So you can, right. so you guys can go check that out on Jeremy's channel. We'll have a link to both the channel. Well, we'll have a link to everyone's channel and the videos that we all mention uh, in the description. I think. Yeah, we, we probably should. Uh, next up on the new spotlight is Lego Captain America and the Howling Commandos, Episode 1, made by me, Lego Clone Addict. And oh man, what a video. <laughs> so, Darren, Darren loves, the, uh, loves the, uh, the production process behind this video. All right, so oh, yeah. I joined, I'll let's, let's just have a brief history of me in the MBU. I joined in April of 2015. And then I was like, hey, what can I do? And he's like, oh, we, we need an X-Men series, uh, maybe Howling Commandos. I'm like, I'll do that. I'll do Howling Commandos because Captain America is he's, 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 a cool he's a cool figure to animate. So I wrote the uh, – Jack's like, hey, uh, you want me to write the script? I'm like, no, no, no. I'll write it because I'm super independent. I'm an independent woman who don't need no man. Uh, <laughs> and so I decided, hey, I'll write the script by myself. And I did. And it took me like three weeks because I'm bad with writing scripts. Uh, and then oh. I finished it in May. And then I'm like, man, I'm going to need some stuff for this. And so I waited until, I, until September when I thought I had enough stuff to start filming some scenes. And then I filmed it over the course of three months with, while interjecting 
videos in between so that I keep up audience retention. I should probably actually talk about the video right now. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Captain America and the Howling, or the Howling Commandos rather, are an elite group of of uh, covert soldiers uh, in in World War Two. Originally, in the comics, they were uh, they were led by uh, Nick Fury back when he was a white dude in the '60s. They changed that with the Earth's Mightiest Heroes and the uh, uh, First Avenger movie, uh, Captain America: The First Avenger, which, by the way. Huge inspirations uh, for this video when I was writing it. So Captain America is essentially the leader of the Howling Commandos, and they go around fighting Hydra in World War II. So that's fun. And this episode in particular, which is the first episode of a series, might I mind you, that was a question we got in our Q&A section. Uh, Captain America and Bucky, or the Howling Commandos in general, there are five of them, uh, they have to destroy a Hydra munitions base in northern France. But Bucky and Cap get captured, and the commandos have to break them out, and it just goes from there, and it's a wild 7 minute and 50 second ride. Focus on rigging the bomb. third episode, or uh, the third video that came out was Defenders by Mr. Mr. Jack Rizzo, Jampot Studios. Um, and because someone want to talk about this one for a second because my mouth is dry and I need water. <laughs> <laughs> um, I talk about my video. Josh, how about you talk? Alright. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I personally, I'm going to be frank, I don't really know much of the Defenders in the first place. However, um, I really enjoyed um, how you see Doctor Strange and he's got his, he's doing his thing and then Iron Fist is coming over and you see them start slowly starting to, um, you can tell they're going to start joining forces. I'm going to be honest, my mind, my memory is not very good. Um, I remember I enjoyed it thoroughly. It was really well done, but I can't remember specifics. <laughs> I, I know okay, that's horrible. Y'all can't remember, we're just going to play a clip right here. Yeah. Boom. Play a clip. What's Dormammu. That, awesome? Play. You cannot slay us. We are the undying ones, and you will not sway us from our cause. I'm guessing you're undying the same way I'm the immortal Iron Fist. In name only. Well, I, I remember wow. I really, really enjoyed it, and I loved how the characters were portrayed. Um, Stephen Strange was amazing. Iron Fist was great. I just, I really liked it. It was good. Dormammu was bad. Iron Fist, good. Doctor Strange, good. Third guy, I forgot his name. Uh, project updates. So, this is, this is a pretty open, open topic. This is just basically where everyone talks about their projects, both MBU related and personal, if they want to. Um, and, and just, uh, we, we just get an idea of what everyone's working on or what everyone's been working on for the past month and a half. So I'm going to take the initiative here cause I am super, I have a huge ego. Um, and I'm going to talk about what I've been working on for the past month and a half. So, uh, when you like since the last show? episode, I released several videos, I think, um, I did Lego Superman, Howling Commandos. Oh, yeah, Lego Captain America 2. Um, and the Brick from Works Christmas Spectacular, which is a thing I did last year where it was like a big community project. People sent in uh, holidays, uh, related brick films, or like the holidays, like end of the year holidays. Someone tried to send me a Halloween video. I said, no, that's <laughs> not, that's not going to work. I did, however, include a Black Friday one because I feel like that's the edge, because that's kind of Christmas. That's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> it's it's Christmas related. Oh God, that was loud. Um, so 
there's that. It's the day after and, Thanksgiving, uh, meaning it's socially acceptable for it to be Christmas. <laughs> exactly. And I was like, all right, you can hang up your Christmas garbage oh, now. God. What I've been working on, I've got a more li- the, the tie-in to Iron Fist Episode 2. Um, and this video, it's like the, the Chalice of Kunlun. Or no, what's it called again? Chalice of... Uh, yep, Chalice of Really? Kunzi. Yeah. Kunzi? Nailed it. Uh, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's similar to that where in the sense where uh, Jack made a companion video to Iron Fist Episode 1. Um, and I'm kind of, and I'm making a companion video to Iron Fist Episode 2. It explains some stuff. It's great. And I just started filming that last night. And I'm halfway done because it's like, the, the, page, the script is like a page long. So there's that. I'm also going to be trying this weekend to be, do an animation test. It's like the, it's going to be like the last five seconds of the Civil War uh, trailer where Cap and Bucky are fighting Iron Man. And I'm going to try and recreate it like frame for frame, 30 frames per second. Wow. So we'll see how that we'll see how that works out. Um, and I may or may not upload. I'll probably upload it if I do if it turns out good. Um, well, we'll see about that. Uh, and that's pretty much everything I'm working on. Whew, that was a marathon. Darren, you go. You haven't talked in like ages. Um, I'm doing a sequel to the Ant Man and Hawkeye video. Um, I've been working on Guardians of the I've done the first scene out of, I think, six. Yeah. So I'm hopefully going to get that done before, hopefully before the 23rd, but I'm not sure my end is going into January. Um, I've been writing Scarlet Spiders, which is kind of in the name. It's about Spider-Man and Scarlet Spider. It's in an alternate dimension. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got going on. Excellent. How about you, Josh? Why don't Me? you spit us um, a yard? <laughs> uh, I've been working on shooting Eternal Winter, episode one, um, as you've seen before. Um, I'm also working on pre-production on probably close to a dozen short films. Um, when I say short films, I mean super shorts, like uh, Green Arrow, What's Next, uh, What If Ant-Man Was a Villain, stuff like that. Um, I've got a Civil War one I'm planning, um, one with Deadpool, uh, what else? I've got a Scooby-Doo short, um, a couple of Star Wars ones, um, and while I'm actually away, I'm going to be brainstorming with my brother um, to come up with more of them. Um, I'll be back to shooting uh, end of, well, beginning of January, um, January 7th, um, so I'm going to be probably finishing up some more shorts and then going back to Eternal Winter episode one. I'm really, really, really hoping I can get that out by the end of January, um, fingers crossed, uh, mid-February at the latest. Um, and then after that, I should be all set to continue working on the series um, of Eternal Winter. Um, all of it takes place in generally the same area, um, so I can shoot all of it in a pretty good uh, chunk of time and do all of the scenes um, for each movie at once. So hopefully that'll speed things up a bit. Um, and I'll also be working on uh, Loki's Revenge Part 3. I've been doing pre-production for that, getting things all set up. Um, and it seems like it'll actually be fairly simple, so I can um, uh, get that out pretty quickly. Awesome. So that leaves us with the Jeremiah. So, so my projects... <laughs> Yeah, this is oh, going to be so a So many point. projects. <laughs> so many projects. Yes. Oh, my God. Right. First of all, so, so many. All right. Um, first up, Mortal Iron Fist. As you know, episode two, three, four, five, six, and possibly season two, probably, because people really like this series. Um, so, yeah. that I've already talked about that, so I'm just going to skip that. Um... Lego Hawkeye series. Okay, so Hawkeye series also written by Jack. God, all right, and <laughs> it's gonna cross over with Hawkeye at one point. I'm not gonna tell you when, how, or where, but it will. Um, that's gonna be mini series, maybe five episodes, probably four, five. I think I think it's four or five, but two episodes are written right now, and it's really, really, really damn good. You guys are gonna love it. 
Um, guess what else? Oh, yeah. Um, Batman. Right now, like, actually, like, right 10 minutes ago or so. Or, wait, we didn't Oh, yeah, there you go. Huh? Um, <laughs> I am working yeah. on a Doctor Strange video. It's going to be, like, a minute and a half, maybe. Oh, if I'm lucky, it's called Doctor Strange Civil War. It is a um, MBU Civil War verse um, video, which ties into Average Bricks' stuff. And it's basically Doctor Strange meditating, and this thing pops up, and they talk, and then the thing goes away. That's the video. <laughs> um, okay. So that's gonna well, be to, to be fair, to be fair, the Iron Fist tie-in is uh, two guys talking, talking, then they leave. Yeah, true. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's so true. Um, le my Lego MCU. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that because I'm probably not gonna do any more with it. Um, Batman series, the uh, season two coming at some point. Those videos take like forever to do, so I don't know when I'm gonna start filming episode one because it's. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Me and Alex like. We're working on the script, like touching it up and everything for like months. Yay. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be really good. Actually, last night it was nine days ago and we started like five months ago. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's long in the making. Um, this they're all gonna now they're pretty much all gonna be the length of Jerry Death Part Three, ten minutes. This one might be longer actually. It's like a fourteen page script. Well, I mean, um, it's a, it's a, it's the season. Yeah. Well, how am I forgetting the word? Well, see yeah. premiere. The premiere. There you go. Um, so this say. season two is going to have. Oh, I need to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes. I think. Yeah, seven episodes. Um, one episode is still being disputed. Um, we think we're either gonna do Riddler or like a Harley Quinn thing. Do you think? Sure. Uh, do you think you'll be oh. able... How, how many episodes do you think you'll get through throughout the course of 2016? Two. Two? Okay. You do Well, you do do a lot of M MBU stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I did do MBU stuff, I would probably get four or five done. Yeah. All right, but my favorite episode of season two is going to be three, which I'm sorry, it comes out a really long time, but it's a Scarecrow episode, and... Man, I wrote the outline with help from Grasso Films, so Grasso guy, um, and it is seriously awesome. I love it and can't wait to film it. Oh, and it, it gets really dark, like really, you better, really, you better really watch dark. it with the lights on. You better watch it with the lights on because it's it really gets dark. dark. It's like a it's, it, it's dark. So basically, it opens with Scarecrow getting like fired from his job after drowning someone in a pool. Like, oh, it's like Ooh. so he's like trying to help a patient to overcome their fear of water and he drowns them. Ooh. And then he Ooh. proceeds to strangle his boss. Oh, that's fun. So Someone's just that's just the bad opening. Day. You just wait. You had a bad thing. <laughs> Sing a sad song. I probably should stop yep, singing because, because right. the YouTube copyright will pick up my amazing vocals and they're like, wow, this is the song exactly. This is the exact well, they just took the they just took the, the, the song itself and then they just put it in their video. Why would they do that? And that's why I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's probably gonna be the first video of mine that'll have viewer discretion advised in front of it. Because this has come Ooh. to my attention that People, um, my, my dad shows his friends my videos, and then they show their kids their videos. And oh. The youngest I've known is, like, five. So I don't think a five-year-old should be watching someone getting drowned, and then someone getting strangled, and other people getting murdered in brutal ways. Jeremy, when are, you, when are we going to see your cousin voice act in something? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> his cousin's five. Oh, yeah. And, he's, and, and I, I, I tweeted out a quote from him. Saying uh, his favorite his superhero is dump truck. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's adorable. That was a dino okay, truck. Like last weekend, I was at my cousin's house and I was just skyping with Alex and Darren, and so we had we were like this in this like pillow for I built for him, and then Alex asked him what his favorite superhero was, and he was just like dump truck. <laughs> he was reading like a dino truck book. Transformers trucks. Right. Okay. Oh, man.
I like how that's what uh, you I think I already talked about Tyrannosaurus like trucks for the win. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this podcast, man, We each episode we slowly delve into madness. Slowly, <laughs> yes. painfully. All right. Well, that's everyone's projects, more or less. Yeah. And now we're going to get on to media discussion. Uh, and this is just stuff we've seen. Uh, we didn't really have time to grab news, but we don't. I don't think there really was any super big news aside from the it's trailers. Song. RDA officially confirmed Spider Man for Civil War. Something off the red top of my head. Um, oh, really? Yeah, he officially oh. confirmed it. Um, oh, that's cool. Let me look. I just you really just like go on. Whatever. I want <laughs> Spider Man. When, when you see the I picture. love there's this meme on um But you want pictures of Spider Man? Yeah, that when Marvel releases a Civil War trailer but you wanted pictures of Spider Man. I yeah. did that yes. I did that with Ismahawk. They released a picture for their Flash vs. Quicksilver. And I said when Ismahawk releases a Flash vs. Quicksilver pick, but you wanted pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and I tweeted it to him and Danny was super sad. That was, that was great. Uh, anywho, so oh yeah, probably... we got really off track really fast. Oh god! <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take over media discussion. That's what you okay. Do. So you should do that. First then. up, we have a discussion about Netflix's amazing, spectacular Jessica Jones. We should, okay, let's just preface this and say that. We've all seen the entirety of the show, and this will be spoiler territory. So, spoiler yeah, discussion. Very much so, spoiler territory. if you have not seen it, skip to the time frame that is on the video right now. Oh, come Alex, on, man! Don't make me edit stuff. You uh, have to. We'll do that. Edit that out, Jeremy. All right, everyone, hold up. No, spoiler don't. alert! Spoiler alert! Because I'm feeling those I'll look, comments right, saying you spoiled it. I'll look for those big spikes in the audio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I'll find it easily. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Jessica right. Jones. It's amazing. You guys want to say anything? <laughs> Basically, you're welcome, Alex. Kilgrave is like the nastiest, filthy person ever. He's my. Fa- I think he's my favorite MCU villain. He is. Oh, yeah. At this point, he's the best. Just um, above Loki, but. Yeah. Just. Above. Um. But God. The video gets that show gets so brutal. <laughs> like mm-hmm. the, the, like especially the end where Jessica Jones walks into the loft and the guy's sawing up to Kilgrave's dad oh, and like hiding up in the sink. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god. That was disgusting. So good. And then I the part it. where like the girl like Hope stabs herself in the neck and like the that stab yeah, herself. Like, that was, was crazy. Like, I was just like, like oh my god. Seriously? Jessica did all that stuff for literally nothing. Literally. Yeah. And love the less. part where um, they had him in the hermetically sealed room and then um, oh. the wire was cut, like when his parents were in there. That was the um, best. And so, you know, they're trying to get him out. And so, uh, I can't re- Oh, Trish, you know, she starts shooting at him and then, you know, the glass comes down and he just, after all the torture and all the stuff they put him through, just snap, 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 put a bullet in your head. Come with me. It just just cool and collected. He just, you know, got stabbed. He got shot. You know, he's been electrocuted. And just the coolness of just, like, put a bullet in your head. Just the anger and the, telling the chief whose hand Because he was so the, creepy when... Um, I love when she was put... She tried to literally put a bullet in her head. Uh, yeah. Like, she was... The shell. <laughs> she was just, like, grinding it in her head. And then, like, Jessica just puts it in her mouth because... Yeah. Not, not, Can I just point out we're actually not talking about yourself. Jessica Jones, just how amazing David Tennant is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. So, I, gotta say, I have a though, question I'm for you. I did not watch this show with my mother. <laughs> Ooh, that would have not, not been fun. Same. <laughs> I, have for, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question for y'all. Do you think Simpson was, is the Punisher? Because I think he's the Punisher. That's my theory. The Punisher? He's going to be the MCU's chimney. Yes. Okay. Alex? Yes. Shane from The Walking Dead is Punisher. Punisher. Yeah. No, that's, no, no. Shane from The Walking Dead is, uh, Crossbones. No, no that's he's, Punisher. He's Punisher. What? He's Punisher in Daredevil Season 2. Have you been living under a rock? Yeah, I thought they already announced who was playing him. 
They announced him like half. I thought John Bernthal was uh, Crossbones. No. No. I thought the guy from the end of Winter Soldier that got crushed by the helicarrier was. Uh, That's Crossbones. Crossbones. No. Yeah, remember? So, wait. End of okay. Winter Soldier. Um, so he was fighting with Falcon, and then you know the building came on top of him, and he was all burned up and like half crushed. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's Crossbones, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Oh. It is. What? Okay, so then why then why is Akash always saying that minifig that he has, he says it's Crossbones. It is. Then why does it yeah, look the, exactly the like the costume? The... the costume is the Crossbones thing. It's just when yeah. he has Punisher, the, if it's like the the Crossbones has like the those big like gauntlet things like people make out of hand tufts. And then you know the crossbones, crossbones on his chest. But he has the same costume in when in Civil War. Yeah, Civil that War. is a Civil War costume. That's crossbones. <laughs> wait, wait, that's crossbones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the Punisher then? Then who's the so Punisher? Punisher Ruth and is, Helen, Daredevil like season the two. From Toy Story. Oh. So John Bernthal is, is not, he was not the guy in the set pictures on Civil War. No. Okay. Oh. Thank you, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm so Frank mad. Frank Grillo is crossbows. I, I thought, man, I was super proud of myself. I'm like, oh, dude, that, ever since episode 10, I was like, after, ever since he got those combat enhancement pills, I'm like, dude, that is so, that is so... <laughs> Yes, freaking Punisher. Simpson. Isn't it? He can't feel. He can't feel pain. I'm like that is Punisher. Whatever. The, the sim- um Officer Simpson is Nuke from the comics. Oh, uh, I did not know that. What the? F- Who's Nuke? Exactly. You'll find out in season two of Jessica Nuke Marvel. Joe. I oh hope we God. never find you out search- that character sucked. <laughs> if you search. <laughs> If you search Nuke Marvel, oh, that's that guy. Oh, that guy was in Civil War. I saw a little thing of him. Oh, that's cool. Not in the movie, <laughs> the comic. What else do we have to say about Jessica Jones? Casting was great. Action yeah. was action in the first few episodes was not very good, in my opinion. No. Not not because there w- there was a lack of it, because not- but there, it, it was just it just felt like low quality. Like there were like, like pretty obvious. Well, it's not an action show. It's a character. I know. I know. It's it's a drama. More than it yeah. was more the whole but, show was you know Daredevil was beat the crap out of people for information whereas Jessica Jones was more super sleuthing. I didn't think really like ending? how Kilgrave died. I thought it was kind of anticlimactic, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I liked the like, and uh, I wish like, they hadn't killed him. I like mm. how I like how she tricked him and that that glimmer of hope in his eye, and then it's just yeah. like oh man, Jessica, we'll be together. You almost feel bad for him. Yeah. The scene, the part, the episodes where he bought the house for her. Oh, God. Like, her childhood house and decorated it the same way. And, like, you know, he, he, he superimposed, you know, he looked magnified pictures of her room to see which CDs were on her desk. Yeah. You know, it, it was terribly creepy, but at the same time, you see those yeah. sentiments. You know, it's like, he's, he's trying. It's, it's creepy. He and he cares you know, so much weird. about her. Yeah. But it's just, uh, it's, it's weird to see that. Like, you know he's the bad guy. Then he does, like, the, but at the same time. <laughs> like, blow up the old neighbor. It's some, yeah. it's some of the best writing I've ever Fill seen. This in my life. Oh, hi, Darren. Glad for you to join us. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> what do you have to say about Jessica Jones? It's fantastic. My favorite series of all time. Moving, 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 moving on. Okay, so moving end on. spoiler alert. <laughs> Oh yeah, and spoiler alert. Boom. Get the clapboard. Uh, Civil War trailer. So this came out. <laughs> There's the audio. Uh, the Civil War trailer came out like a week and a half ago. So what did you guys think oh, about the was, Civil War trailer? Because I, I loved it. Um, I really like, you know, it's not exactly going with the comics, but at the same time, um, it's a really good replacement. It's a movie that I know I've wanted for a really long time. Um, and I think the dynamic that they're going to have between all the characters is going to be really well done. Um, it's going to explore um, the relationship between both um, Cap and Iron Man and also Captain America and Bucky. Um, there's going to be probably some resentment between Iron Man and Bucky, just, you so know, because they both be like Steve. <laughs> um, 
So it's it's oh, going to be an interesting it's a love kind of triangle. Space, you know, Civil War is a love triangle. triangle. Uh, I love the meme where it's like it's a cartoon and it's I, I posted it on an Instagram chat. I need to go find it. Yeah, keep talking. Uh, is it is it that Simpsons one where it said it's Bart and Lisa and it says you can actually pinpoint the heart where you, the point where your heart was ripped out. And it's and it's the picture of Cat, uh, Iron Man when he says so was I. <laughs> oh, it's this. Okay. It's basically, it's a picture of Bucky and Captain America, like, prancing through the grass with a rainbow that says <laughs> best friends forever with Iron Man watching. And then Iron, it's cuts to a thing where it's Captain Ma Iron Man crying with a card that says to my best friend Steve with, like, a picture of them together with, like, a heart. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, please sign that to me. I'll edit that in. I'm going to edit that for yeah, the video. Okay. Um, I I posted it on in the Discord chat, so you should. Oh, that's nice. It. And and the preview for uh, for Eternal Winter just downloaded, so that's fun. Yay! Yay! I'll, I'll watch it. Uh, there's also a picture from the Civil War trailer. Um, it's got uh, over Captain America, you see the DC logo, and over Bucky, you see the Marvel logo, and over Tony, you see the Hulk, and they're just beating the crap out of them. <laughs> it's it's a perfect summary of what is happening. Oh, God. sorry for people on the audio. Yeah, um, I didn't realize that my computer was picking up the audio from that trailer. I apologize. Okay, so uh, my okay. thoughts on the trailer. Okay, um, you're a very right. opinionated person. Um, I didn't think it was the best, but um, yeah, I felt like I saw too much. But, so I really liked the end of the trailer, though, where he's like, "I'm sorry, Tony." You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. So was I. That was my favorite part of the trailer. Um, mm -hmm. I really like how Black Panther so. looks. I think the battle in the parking garage looks awesome with like Iron Man, Captain America, and Bucky. That looks really badass and awesome. Uh, I, I, I really would like disagree with you, Darren. the guy off of a toll booth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's let Darren say something. Yeah, I, I would disagree with what you said, Jeremy, because I think... They didn't show enough because if you think about all the locations they used in the trailer, there's barely any. They just bulked up the footage from those locations. No, but they showed that like War Machine is like dead. He's not dead. Well, they I know he's not dead. He's just they show that he's like. They see <laughs> Go to that sleep. He's Go to sleep. Go to sleep. He just keeps ripping out his arc reactor. There's, there's, there's barely anything they really showed. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't show Spider Man. I hope they treat him like um, Luke Skywalker or like, yeah. Force Wilkins. So, the thing is, uh, with the Civil War trailer, is that I thought it showed too much as well, but then I really thought this is the same thing with the Batman v Superman trailer, which we'll get to in a second. Oh, or the second one. <laughs> you are not a fan of that one. Oh. Um, but I originally thought they showed too much. It's like, well, I know the plot. But we already kind of. Now it kind of don't like there's Literally, there's still some loose ends that we need to i felt a little to, underwhelmed i think um, the reason i didn't like it that much is because like i i think i overhyped myself i think everyone overhyped herself for this movie because everyone was expecting the comic civil war where like yeah. 50 heroes versus 50 heroes in the streets of new york Every people are dying everywhere, and now it's and now it's five heroes versus five heroes in the back. I, no, I think we just need more. to get. Oh, there are. Well, I just oh, think we need to. Ant Man's get, meant to be in it. He's not been in the trailer. Fair enough. Spider See, that, that's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> they showed him in like the um Disney D three trailer or the Disney yeah. Comic Con trailer. Oh, Spider Man. Or Ant um, oh no, no Ant, Ant, Man. Ant Man. Right. No, he's Spider Man's not even gonna be in Civil War. It's gonna be the after credit scene. It's gonna be the after after credit scene. Yeah, he's, he's, we're gonna see like thirty seconds, and he's, he's just gonna be like holding a mask, or he's just gonna swing away. We're not even gonna see the costume. <laughs> <laughs> or, it's, or it's just oh god, I really want them to get J K Simmons back as uh, as J Jonah. Wait, what, could okay, you imagine if it was just like a pic Could you imagine if like the after credit scene was just like a picture of Jonah's desk, and he's like crap, crap, crap. Mega crap! I want Spider Man, and he just like throws no, it yeah, down. No, yeah, no, yeah. Just be like, have it be like you see a fist bang on the table. He's like, get me pictures of Spider Man, damn it! Oh, that'd <laughs> be that's great. Fire! All right, uh, and then finally on our 
main agenda, I suppose. We have the Batman v Superman second trailer. Ah. So. So. Mixed emotion. Uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings about it. It sucked. No, no longer did go watch the film I, I kind anymore. of. I've always. I know a lot of people have had a lot of um, dislike with the, 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 all the everything that's been going on with Batman versus Superman in general. Um, no, I, was, I personally want to give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, you know, I think I think Green Lantern and uh, left a really sour taste in everyone's mouth. Uh, um, uh, Dark Knight uh, Rises was less than what people expected from what I've heard. Man of Steel, people really didn't Man enjoy. So basically DC's track record has not exactly been Man sp of uh, spectacular, except for the Dark Knight. Man um, of Steel has is probably Batman one of the most discriminated films. films of all time. Yeah. yeah. In terms of fanboys. So it's I, I know I personally have been uh um I've been trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Um and I, the whole thing with um like at the end with Doomsday. It, yeah. You gotta think it, a lot of people like, have been saying, oh, they spoiled the big ending. Well, you got to think about it. These are studio executives. Yes, they may not have the best ideas creatively, but when it comes to marketing, these people are going to do what they can. They know you don't put your big, your, your big surprise in a trailer. So yeah. I think well, Doomsday is just the beginning. I don't okay, know what Josh, the planning, So that's a Terminator Genesis. Oh, okay. yeah. Terminator Genesis did the same thing. Terminator Genesis, John Connor being the Terminator, that was the big twist in the movie. And it was um, a... <laughs> I, I remember one of, one of the reviews I watched said the same thing you just said there, and then they went... Yeah, I saw the movie, that. and that was the yeah. twist. I, I, I still feel like they shouldn't have shown showed Doomsday. Yeah. I like the way yeah, that they're incorporating... The at the same time, I think that it's... I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal overall. Yeah. Um... I like the uh, the thing that Forrest tweet out, tweeted out. Uh, hashtag they punch for a bit now they're mates. Yeah. In regards yeah. to Batman and Superman. <laughs> and so, I mean, I'm ever like oh, a lot of people knew that this is where it's gonna go because they're not they're not gonna have a winner. They're not gonna have a winner. Everybody Every knows that this is this is a yeah. Justice League setup. You know they, they've got Batman is it a just and well, Wonder Woman and cameos by what is it Cyborg and Aquaman. You know, it, it, yeah, it's a Justice League awesome setup. Stuff. That's what this is. Yeah, um, it is a Justice League setup. But my problem with it is that they literally showed <laughs> Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 in the trailer. Yeah. I don't think they should have shown the, the very end part where you see them team up. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think they should have shown Doomsday at all. Yeah. And especially when he shoots the laser at Batman and Wonder Woman blocks it. Because now we know how Wonder Woman is going to be incorporated in the film. How she's going to be introduced. Yeah. And I don't like that at all. My problem, like, it just spoiled, like, everything. And the mm. trailer was also just, like, I, I've i been really, really excited for Batman v Superman. Like, out of my mind excited. But this trailer, literally, I don't, I'm not excited for it anymore. Yeah. Really? That's, yeah, I'm not. That's extreme. Like, well, I'm going to go I think see it. The but, end part, while it was a shame they spoiled how Wonder Woman was going to be incorporated, that they all team up, um, I really like that it showed a little bit of the dynamics um, between, I did like where like, he was like, she with you. like, she with you. I, I thought she was with you. I, I, I hate that. that. <sighs> oh, I do I like Batflex, um, the, 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 uh, the grin he does when he meets Clark Kent. Oh, um, God. I really like the look. Like <laughs> one I'm excited. <laughs> that was great. I love Jesse Eisenberg. Mm -hmm. I love him okay. so much. I didn't like, I didn't like Jesse Eisenberg in that scene. Oh, come on. I love Jesse. I think, Eisenberg. I think he, he looked oh. from the from that part. He seemed a little over hyper. Um, I like the character. Jesse Eisenberg, his, not um, love yeah. enthusiasm. Um, in the you scene he meets up with uh, Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent, he seemed a little over the top. Um, but overall, I think an, a super enthusiastic um, Lex Luthor is going to be interesting. All right. Well, that seems like general consensus seems pretty meh. Uh, yeah. to underwhelming to they showed too much there's the stuff with um those guys who have like Superman symbol on them yeah that was, uh, that's what a dream that? sequence like an, a yeah, dream I was, sequence I was gonna say. oh here it is you okay. have to go back it's iconic it's a three syllable word for any thought too big for little minds that one oh, yeah, three that syllable one word for, for a thought too big for little minds uh, I like I'm that. still excited for Batman v Superman 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm kind of just like I was super excited. Now I'm just like, eh, whatever. Sit back and watch. We'll let's see what happens. Yeah, and I, like about, feel, though. I will say that I love. When we do the podcast for it, when that's come out, watch it. We're like, oh my god, that was amazing, and we're saying it yeah. Now. <laughs> All right. Well, that concludes our media discussion. Uh, the Q and A section. All these questions come from Instagram, I believe, unless somebody tweeted at yeah. me. Yeah, Instagram. We're just gonna go through some of these questions that we have. Um, Lego Bat Productions One Hundred and One BTS asks, "What is your best film, in your opinion?" Right. So we want to go first. Yeah. It, it, it takes some thought. Darren just. <laughs> I'll just set my own Guardians episode one. Like my favorite Midas. video is Iron Fist episode one. Uh, for me, I like the. Uh, that's a tricky one. I like the humor in Batman sued. I like the story from Deadpool and Unexpected Journey. But the one I'm most proud of, I think, is Loki's Revenge Part One. I just wish I sped it up a little better. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, uh, Mary Maniac. Films asks. I think his name is different, but he changed Alex, it for the holidays. Answered. No, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I said, I said Helen Commandos. Oh, you did? Oh, I didn't hear. Yeah. Um, Mary Maniac Films asks, when was the first time you've attempted to brick film, and what was the brick film about? Okay. Um, <laughs> so, fun story. Back in 2009, I was on vacation in Brazil with my mom, and we didn't have the internet because we were at my grandparents' place. And so I was just on my computer messing around, and I found this little application called iMovie. Um, and I brought some Legos along with me. However, I didn't know how uh, Forrest or um, Fancy Pants made their made stop motion animations. Those were like the two biggest people at the time for me. Um, and so I, just, I, I, I had no clue how that was possible without like moving the, the minifigures yourself unless it was like CGI. So what I did, and I, I still have this video on a thumb drive three feet next to me. Um, I made little... You should play it. Oh God, it is so bad. So you need bad. To, you need to it's, play it's called like Lego Batman Goes Camping. Um, and, it's, <laughs> it, it, and Robin is like in a space suit because I didn't actually have a Robin. <laughs> And so what I did was I was basically playing with them like action figures. Like I, I just, I got like the webcam of my laptop. I pointed it down to the ground and I was like moving them around with my hands and I start, and I was just recording it. Oh my God, it was so bad. So that was technically my first attempt at a brick film. Though my first stop motion animation was the Lego Zombie Apocalypse Interactive Game, which you can see on my channel. It is yes. not... <laughs> <laughs> and that's Fantastic. and that's just the peak of perfection in my opinion of my it videos. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. my first attempt at brick filming was in 2011. Most of those videos are now no longer on my channel, and I forget why I took them down, but I did. And basically, it, I started off four frames per second in a video called Rebel Speed Hack, where basically. A rebel just like puts up his gun, just like bam, 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 and shoots to be stormtroopers, and it was really, really bad. In like five seconds long. Darren, how many? Have, how about your uh, your golden age? Your, no, no. Your, well, I love no. the golden age. I have, I have better story. <laughs> like so fight. my, I love fight. Oh, fight is a good. That was a good one. <laughs> but my first brick film was in two thousand and three or two thousand and two. Ooh, for one of those. Um, I was like, I was quite young. I think I was like four, and then I got the Lego Studio set, which came with the Lego webcam, and then it came with like a software and everything. And then me and my dad were animating, and my very first one was a Lego guy walks up to the toilet and takes a poop, <laughs> and a massive, <laughs> a massive explosion of brown clay all over the room, Bless and then that was it. That was my very first video. Oh, the glory days. <laughs> classic, classic DT98 films. Oh, that's you. the golden age right there, laddie. I, I, continued, I continued from there. And now I'm releasing worse videos. Ah, okay, Josh. All right. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> Ooh. Because a bunch of my stuff was on an older computer that ended up going kaput. Um... So I know if you look on my channel, uh, Vader's Game was one of our first. Actually, no, that was my brother. 
Um, we basically, we started with action figures. Um, so my very first animation ever was a little transformer just kind of transforming and moving around. Um, it wasn't like one of the super complex ones from nowadays. It was one of the older ones from years ago. Um, and so for brick filming, I, I can't, I remember we came up with this series of stories, um, called, uh, um, the stormtrooper brothers. And it was basically three stormtroopers who didn't exactly have their heads screwed on right. Um, and so basically we have some of our first ones were we had them, um, like in music videos, performing music. Um, and then also like an interview of, uh, their movies, but I don't, I can't remember the exact, I knew that's not the first, but I can't remember which was the first. Um, but I just remember, you know, in some of those old movies, you can see the floor, um, like my physical bedroom floor. If you like Invader's Game, if you, in some of the shots, you see like my desk and, um, a mattress in the background. <laughs> yeah, I remember it, but I remember we didn't have a tripod. And we didn't know anything about holding things up. So, I mean, in some of our first animations, you see they're all from above the, the action. Um, you see if, like, a missile goes across, my hand is literally holding it going across. Um, <laughs> everything's all shaky. It's like, yeah, close enough. I, I <laughs> it was, was, it's disgusting. I remember one time we were having a helicopter land, and you literally see my brother full torso Lowering it down. <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! I, I went from I went from animating with the like the Lego Studio thing to using a really bad webcam and filming my hands playing with Lego, and yeah. I voiced everyone with my little Scottish high pitch accent. It was beautiful. Oh, I'm, so I'm dead in eighteen ninety eight films. There we, oh no, it wasn't even that. I was my old channel, so I was in stuff like Bob Fay. Don't look that up. <laughs> What's your um, old film? What's your old channel called, Darren? Nothing, nothing at all. What's it called? No, I said it earlier, so if you listen to it, you can find it. All right, I'll just oh, boost please. the audio way up at that point. <laughs> please, oh, you hate me. I do. <laughs> um. Oh, how far we've come! Oh God! Oh. All right. Uh, so, uh, Lala underscore Desantis thirteen asks, "Why are unicorns so beautiful?" The answer to that is because they're the they're the national animal of Scotland. Thank you. I was about to say it myself. Captain underscore oh, okay. asks, "How many people are in the MBU and who are they?" I have trouble keeping count. All right. Okay, I'll do it. Like, well, list them up. List there them are up. eleven. There are eleven. Okay. One. Aaron Good. Lisa is not. Two. Alex Lego Fanatic. Three. Calvin Bemis. Got Video Films. Four. The Nick Rad Visuals. Five. Darren Taylor. DT Nine at Films. Six, Hello. I think that, yeah, six, Eric Williams, Average Brick Studios. Seven, Jack Rizzo, Jam Pot Studios. Eight, Jared Palmer, uh, Palmer Sim Pictures, I think. Nine, Josh Dank, Mr. Josh over here, a few good films. Um, then, the, my the other right. wow. NLM Productions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, Will, Abomination Films, brand new member, like really new, like a week, probably. About a week ago. Wait. Wait, okay. abomination. I thought you said abomination. I was like, is there a new one? <laughs> no, it's abomination. <laughs> but Jeremy, kudos on getting my name right. Normally I get like Dank Q, Dank Way. Nope, nope, Mr. Dank. No, we, we've, we've known it's Mr. Dank. <laughs> Mostly because of Dank memes. Yeah, everybody. It's like, I've, I've been talking with people. No matter what I named my kids, you know, if I came up with a sick name like Donovan or Slade, everyone would just go Dank. <laughs> you should you should you shouldn't give him a first name Kush. Kush comma Somebody dank. told my brother that. <laughs> really? Yes. Dank Kush. So that when and everything, you know, they always do the last name first, so yeah. it was like oh, yeah. God. <laughs> oh god, that's great. That'd be uh, amazing. All right. Uh Captain Brix has another question and that is uh for Civil War, which side are you on? Captain America. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Really? I'm the only one? Yep. Be I'm you. sure if Akash is here, he would gladly. I I just don't join agree you. with the fact that Iron Man is going off with someone who can only remember that he stuffed newspapers in his shoes. 
Oh no, uh, it's the, that's the trolliest thing ever. In the, it's like he's like, all right, like, wait, do you remember me? I remember your mom. Oh. <laughs> and that was when Cat Mark was like, right, I'm just gonna betray everyone I know and come with you. Yeah, because. I mean, you gotta think about Captain America. It's like they're trying to arrest and kill Bucky, and Captain America needs to prove that he's, you know, you know, been brainwashed. And it's just, it's he can't. He's, you know, he's probably tried going through the proper channels, and they're not gonna listen. So he's trying to save his best friend, well, and he he really has no choice. I think the cook of like, well, he killed like a lot of innocent civilians, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That's great. But then again, he was brainwashed. Well, no, it wasn't technically Bucky. Anyone could go like, it's like, so why did you kill all these men? Oh, I was brainwashed. And be like, I mean, right, no, that's the thing is Captain America is uh, probably going to try to prove it, not just say, oh, he was brainwashed. Oh, okay. He's probably oh, okay. going to try and find some evidence. To Here, try instead it, of putting um, you to jail, we'll buy your house right? and pay you for the rest of your life. What? <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> Darren. Darren does that so much. All right, uh, next question. Kind of this is just basically a question for me, but Lego MMS Productions asks, will, be there another, will there be another uh, Howling Commandos? Yes, that's why it's called Episode 1. Uh, and this is for everyone. <laughs> uh, what is each of your favorite installments in the MBU so far? Um, hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an installment. Web of oh. Spider-Man. I don't know. Definitely. Um, Eternal Winter Man Titan. Uh, Guardians, Episode 1, Vendor's Tower, Ultron Unlimited, Defenders. Go, go. My favorite is every single one. Anything made by Aaron. Aw, Darren, you cheeky boy. And Iron Fist. I was going to say something Sir, else. Show tonight. Oh, God. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? That was me. How his stupid ad starts for Chalice of Kunzi. <laughs> it's called Kunzi, not Kun Loon. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah, I right. said Kunzi. Shut up. <laughs> oh, we have so many playlists. It's on the next. Uh, you have to click see more to see the complete MBU song. <laughs> oh, that's when you know it's big. Oh, God, that was phrased very poorly. Oh, <laughs> oh, Alex. <laughs> Alex, what about all our young viewers? Oh, what have you up. done? <laughs> Alex, what have you done? Uh, stop. Alex, you're scarred for life. Oh, I'm right. not scarred. I'm nearly 17. <sighs> I, I really like. um I really like Amazing Scarlet Spider. Aww. Uh, oh, Lucky. yeah, I know. Uh, Death's, Death Comes a Calling. It's <laughs> great. Anything yeah. made oh, Aaron's great. Um, let's see here. Ultron Unlimited is a really good one. Avengers Tower Invasion. That's awesome. Deadpool in Mexico. Yes. I'm, pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure all you're doing is reading out the list of MBU videos and saying how they're your favorite. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. Guardians. Guardians episode one. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Avengers Tower, Captain America versus Black Panther because Black Panther meet, beat Captain America. <laughs> um, Isle of Van Island M, Web of Spider Man, Iron Fist episode one, Island Commandos. <laughs> um, if I had to choose a favorite, oh man, I really like Death Comes a Colin. Yes, yeah. I'm Death Hedge. Yes. <laughs> it's great. I really love that character. I didn't know anything about him until those. And I don't think anyone knew anything about him except for yeah, Aaron. I, yeah, Aaron's the only one. Huh. Um, my favorite. If I really had to narrow it down, uh, why am I? Why do I? Uh, Eternal Winter, Mad Titan. Really? Yeah. Who cool. am I? <laughs> Oh, and that's, I was, so that's kind of funny. I was actually going to say I really like um, uh, episode, Immortal Iron Fist episode one. Um, Thank you. And, uh, and uh, Ultron Unlimited. This yeah. is so good. Mine would probably be the Defenders episode one. Oh, yeah, that's really That's good. a good one. All right. Jampot Studios has three questions. <clears throat> uh, when's, when's hashtag when's C A H C P T, or sorry, C A H C part two, Alex? Um, oh, when is it? Oh, oh, when is it? Okay. I thought he said where. Um, it's probably going to be, depending on how many views it gets, anywhere from February, which is unlikely, to May. 
depending on how many views it gets. Um, <laughs> second question. Second question is uh, when's GOTG part three, Darren? Well, if we're gonna go by your logic, anything from now and December twenty sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, depending on how many views it gets, it's, it depends on That's how much view. of a priority it gets. If it, if it gets 30,000 views, then I'm going to probably work on it more than if it gets three. So, well, that is well same, here. same here. I mean, I'm going to do it, but I might do, not do it as quickly. All right, well, and the, fi- quick. the final question Jampot Studios has is, when is IIF Part 2, Jeremy? Shut up. Okay, um... <laughs> probably ish maybe uh, no promises because i uh, said september for ultra unlimited and it came out late november <laughs> ain't that a hoot and then uh etr oh, for, uh, hype you, you were building that hype train in anticipation yeah that's exactly it. um lego avengers aou movie asks uh well, well this will be the second last one uh yes <laughs> jamfot studios where's defenders a, a defenders to jack and the funny thing is uh, jack a, said when it jack already said when it was going to be in the credits so yeah. like oh. did he say january right january? it's like january. yeah january 2016 it's like and january the, 2nd actually I think. yeah right. it was january That's the exact 2nd. Date. all right and then the final question we're going to have tonight because this has been going on for an hour and 20 minutes is what's the best thing about the mbu why marvel mm-hmm. and not dc Okay, so the best thing about the MBU, in my opinion, is the people. Everyone is awesome. They're super nice. And, like, seriously, it has been the best experience in my entire YouTube career. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone here are probably some of the best people I've met on the internet. Oh, You're going to make me cry. I'm not crying. You're crying. Shut up. I think I'm already crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Seriously, like... <laughs> Like especially Jack. Like without Jack. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I would be in YouTube right now. Jack, Kevin, Feige, Rizzo. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Jack is just the same. I'm gonna start crediting him as that from now on in the MBU <laughs> videos. I yeah, I was really doing, considering it, me, doing uh, it. Get my bearings. <laughs> he did. Jack's awesome. Mm-hmm. He is. Jack, if you're you are probably watching this, so you are the best. <laughs> just know that. Jesus. I mean, the MBU is such like an awesome. Uh, it's it, it just the the collaborative nature of it. It's, it's so fun. Yeah. Oh, you little cutie. Oh, I didn't say anything. About, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! All right, uh, and then and then why Marvel and not DC? DC. Okay, I'm not gonna speak know, for the. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna speak for the people who started the MBU. But I think, me, for me personally, in the MBU, uh, the Marvel universe tends to have a more uh, I think I think it has a more cohesive nature a more shared continuity yeah a lot more shared continuities and that makes it fun for uh for, I mean Crossing. DC definitely has a lot of it it, it definitely has a lot of it but I, I th- feel like and Marvel doesn't have as much Marvel's uh, tends to be a more cheery universe even though we know from Jessica Jones and Daredevil that that is not <laughs> yes. always the case it, 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 amen to that. Um, I, I feel I feel like Marvel works more for brick films in a universe in a universe sense uh, because there are so many little pockets everywhere. I mean, the same could be said for DC, but I think Marvel has, like I said, more of it. Um, yeah, like all and the stuff you have in New York, and it's easy enough to just collab with someone else. In the yeah, project. like everything's in New York. There's like one superhero every block. <laughs> yeah, what was I saw something? It said um, like the Guardians of the Galaxy protect the universe. The Avengers protect the Earth, and uh, uh, Spider-Man protects New York, and Daredevil micromanages the crap out of ten blocks of Lower Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that that definitely makes it easier for collaboration. Marvel, I mean, there's, there's a lot of inspiration and kind of yeah. from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, we we get yeah, an idea of course. Of, yeah. You know, we get we get to see more of the characters with DC. You know, they haven't really had a big movie game. When it comes to um, live action, they're, they're, get, they're, they're gonna get there, but uh, this yeah. next, uh, like Are, from after next year, there's gonna be like two every year. Like also, next yeah. year, so, so they're, they're starting up their game. So you know, we might actually, you know, see a, um, you know, we, I don't know, the DC cinematic universe is gonna take off, and then you know, I'm sure we'll see more DC cinematic uh, brick film universes around. There already are like three, and there are like eight Marvel ones. 
Yeah. And the thing is with Marvel, I feel like the characters are more grounded mm-hmm. in terms and well, DC DC characters are meant to be gods. That's yeah. that's what they're supposed to be. That's why Batman. I mean, it's, it's, that's why, that's I always why have term, a hard. I always have term. a hard time making a Superman movie because he's just so powerful. It's yeah, like I want to have moments where characters it doesn't look you know like they're gonna make it you know obviously it's kind of obvious they will at some point but with superman it's like how do you get him to that point without whipping out kryptonite again or you know just i remember someone suggested you know like have him get tuckered out it's like how how do you tucker him out you know without (laughs) using you know dark side or doomsday and even then you know it's it's like how do you defeat superman without kryptonite and come in and make it a decent story. There's a reason why the term "because he's Batman" exists. Exactly. Because the writers of Batman made him so that "because he's Batman" is a viable excuse. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it, it seems with DC, the reason Marvel works better for a brick film universe than DC is also because DC, at the moment at least, is yes, um, you know, we've been exploring some of the you know slightly lesser known characters of the Marvel universe, but and DC has those too. But at the moment, the main focus is on Justice League, um, the main founding members of that, you know, and then, you know, the, you know, the Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, um, Cyborg, Martian Manhunter, you know, the main focus is on the Justice League. It's hard to have a community working on a series of movies when, yes, you can have standalone movies, but everyone wants to see the Justice League. And on that note, uh, that's all we have this month, maybe. <laughs> for the Marvel <laughs> Brick time. film, uh, for the this MBU. counts as November, by the way. No, it does not. It does not count oh. as November. This counts no, as November and month. December. No. Okay, so now we're doing it bi monthly, apparently. We can do it. We do it whenever we feel like it. Yeah. Okay. We do what we want. <laughs> it's it's hard to get people on in this with similar schedules to get together. Yeah, because everyone's spread around the world. Probably the biggest difference we have is a twelve-hour difference at times. Yeah. You know, between two different members. So that's fun. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the MBU podcast. I've been one of your hosts, uh, joined by Jeremy, Josh, and Darren. And uh, I'm out with the lads for Cheeky Nandos. Uh, <laughs> See you guys. Tune in <laughs> next time. Same bat time, same bat Same bat, bat channel. channel. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.